This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's the Ramble. Goes till midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. We're on the, uh, uh, let's see here, the right coast of the United States of America in the city so nice they named it twice, New York, New York. And uh, we will have uh, our citizens panel and discuss some of today's major topics and maybe nothing at all. It just depends where the subject matter goes. And we'll do that in about, oh, I don't know, a half hour from right now. But right now, let's check in with one of our guests. The happiest man in America, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joy. <laughs> Am I overstating it a bit? The reason they're putting up a suicide net in the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, for Larry Bubbles Brown, yes. <laughs> one of my favorite people in the whole damn world. Nah, I'm hey. glad somebody liked me. They're spending two hundred million dollars for the suicide net on the Bay, on the Golden Gate Bridge. How, you know. how much? Two hundred million dollars. Two hundred million dollars. Yes. Do when you... they just if they just gave that money to the depressed people, wouldn't that end the problem? <laughs> you know, you've got a point. Do you know that's way more than the bridge ever cost? Probably is, yeah. I I would say if I looked up the cost of building the Golden Gate Bridge, it probably is somewhere in, you know, like forty three million dollars or something. I don't know. I seem to remember something. The pressure was probably forty cents back then, but. And there were how many people died building that bridge? Quite a few. They had to put up. Uh, they actually had nets to catch people that fell into them when they were building it. So. Yeah, yeah. Now you ask, why did people die? Because they had nets. And they would hit the net and then bounce out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then they would hit the, you know. Now, if, if people jump off the Golden Gate Bridge to commit suicide, well, you know, you tell them, Bubbles, because you're the expert on suicide, things depressing. <laughs> um, why do they pick the Golden Why? Why is it so lethal to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge? It's not that far. It's about, it's a little over 200 feet, I think, from the center of the bridge. But yeah. uh, it's literally, you, your chances of living are one in a hundred because there's been about 1,600 and some suicides they know, and uh, about 16 people have survived. Now, there are a couple of things about that. Number one, there was a guy who jumped off the bridge. Uh, I think you may remember the story. Jumped off the bridge, uh, landed in the water, and it's kind of like, it, it's kind of like hitting concrete. Okay, that's mm-hmm. what it's because water just because it's water doesn't mean it doesn't have, you know, uh, 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 hardness to it. Okay, uh, he jumped off the bridge, broke almost every bone in his body. They hauled him off to Letterman Hospital. He was still alive. They nursed him back to health at Letterman Hospital, which is just a few blocks away from the entrance to the bridge. Yeah, and. Uh, they nursed him back to health. He's in full health about a year later, right? He, they mm-hmm. check him out of the hospital. He walks over to the Golden Gate Bridge and jumps off again. <laughs> and this time manages to kill himself. Well, I think we call that perseverance. Yeah. Now, I had, if you may remember, remember our 1,000 by 2,000 contest? Yeah, yeah. Very controversial. We were about, we were about to hit. But something like it, about nine hundred. We're, we're, we're about to hit a thousand. We're about to hit a thousand. So I uh, held my, you know, one thousand, uh, one thousand by two thousand uh, con- contest, and that name was thought up by Lori Thompson, by the way. And <laughs> uh, um, we were going to. What we're going to do is uh, to the family of the person who was the one thousandth jumper, we were going to give a blender. <laughs> and a lovely uh, parting gift. <laughs> you know, just to say we're sorry that you're you're he died, but he did have a significance. Here's your blender, right? Mm-hmm. So now we're counting down. We're like 92, 93 cuz every day they would report it in the paper, right? Mm-hmm. 94 and then all of a sudden because I was running this contest, the 
reporting people, which was usually the Coast Guard, decided not to report any longer the number of jumps going off the bridge because if I was holding this contest of, you know, 1,000 by 2,000, there might be some people going, oh, I want my family to collect the blender. <laughs> so they stopped printing it. I remember this. This is great. Yeah. This is the best radio ever. Yeah. Now what happens is I've got somebody inside the Coast Guard. And every day, he's every other day, he's calling me like, number 96. <laughs> <laughs> we had a mole. <laughs> a mole. 97, 98. Finally, they call me. And they say, we hit 1,000. And I went on the air next day, and I said, we just hit 1,000, ladies and gentlemen. And the powers at B said, how does he know that there was one, you know, there was, we hit the 1,000th? We, we, we're not admitting to that or whatever. And then they went, finally, yeah, he's right. I hit it on the button the day yeah. the guy jumped off the bridge. But I didn't give them the blender. <laughs> and here's the reason why. I considered him inconsiderate. What he did is he drove his car out to the middle of the bridge, got out while it was still running, and jumped off oh. the rail. You and can't I can, give anything to someone that blocks traffic. Exactly. So we didn't give him the blender. So, <laughs> but I, pre I predicted the 1,000. They were apoplectic. They were livid. Yeah. Do you remember it? Yeah. Yeah. They were going crazy. Mm-hmm. So. Well, there's a great documentary called The Bridge where they uh, they put cameras on the Golden Gate, a bunch of them, for ran them 24-7 for a year, and they caught about 16 suicides or 12, I forget. And they interviewed one guy that lived. He broke a bunch of bones, and he, they, he said as soon as he jumped, he changed his mind. He changed his mind? His mind. But he said there is a way if you come at you kind of come at you have to have really heavy boots and if you come in at kind of an angle you can survive it's really hard but that's the way to do it and you, and you have to hold your arms straight up over your head so they don't. Well, there was one other factor that we are not mentioning is that as you jump off, if there's a wind, it can blow you back into the bridge. Yeah, and, and the, it's always windy up there. And the hell. slam across the bridge, uh, uh, hitting the bridge, is what kills you, not hitting the water. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, this is the kind of thing that Bubs and I talk about. <laughs> up <laughs> that, was, that was great, 1,000 by 2,000. <laughs> it was 1,000 before 2,000. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we were we were. I think it was nineteen. It was nineteen ninety nine, and I think it, it. No, I was it. No, I was off the air by then. So it was nineteen ninety six. Yeah, it was happened. before then. So. so we hit the two thousand. How many have there been now? There's about. It's about. It's close to seventeen hundred. But that's what they know of. But I think. Uh, so in uh, in the in, early days, on a foggy night, I sure people jumped off and were never seen again you know well then in approximately 20 years there have been 700 mm -hmm. that's a sharp increase i would say over the bridge was built in like 34 37 it opened in 37 37 so uh you know in all they that time about, it took them that long to get to a thousand i think they average is six between 16 and 24 a year 16 and 24 a year? Between 16 and 24 a year, yeah. And and they still haven't figured out a way to keep people from jumping. They haven't, because they, if they... No, they tried to put up a... I think they were going to put up a rail. Now they're putting up this giant net that's going to supposedly catch you. And Underneath the bridge? Yeah, that's going to jut out and... Uh, well, what's to prevent the guy, if he's really bent on suicide, to fall into this net and then crawl over to the side of the net and let him go the rest of the way? You would think, or or he could uh, get a jug of Diet Coke and drop a roll of Mentos in and shoot himself <laughs> over. <laughs> Be halfway to Alcatraz. Okay, if you're listening to us and you're planning on committing suicide <laughs> off the Golden Gate Bridge, just listen to us. We're giving you advice on how to do it. <laughs> well, maybe they put the net low enough that if you did go over the side, it wouldn't. The impact wouldn't be very heavy, hitting the water. Yeah, that would be. They'd have to really have a pretty low. How much would it cost them to put a net? 
I two hundred million, unbelievable. Now what is going to raise tolls? What what did you say? The net is going to cost two hundred million. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. I got to look this up. Uh, cost of Golden Gate Bridge. Cost of building Golden Gate Bridge. Cost of you know building Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, actually, I, if I had an Echo, which I just ordered, I could just say it into Echo, and it would probably give me the answer. Bridge. Uh, oh, I'll cost the building Golden Gate Bridge. Not today, but then. Um, Twenty-seven million dollars. <laughs> so it's costing. You can't buy a house here for that now. So, so wait a minute. Twenty-seven million to build the goddamn Golden Gate Bridge, and the net is going to cost what? Two hundred million. Two hundred million. Now there was a thing here that uh, that did say. Uh, whoops. Let me let me see here. There was a thing here that said building the Golden Gate Bridge may not be possible today. Uh, frequently asked questions. There is a, there was a thing here that said how much would it cost to build it today, and I didn't uh, I didn't find it. But anyway. Well, uh, the the new Bay Bridge that opened a couple of years ago cost ten billion. Ten billion. Yes, and it's not by the engineers' uh, own design. It's not designed oh. to take an earthquake. Okay, they said larger, t- larger than the one we had in '89. Wait a minute. It says what was supposed to take seven years and one billion dollars. Oh no, that was something else. Getting a new Bay Bridge built. Uh, uh, the cost of twenty-seven million. Or one point five billion dollars today. Mm-hmm. So that's cheaper than the bridge they just uh, they just built. And how much did that thing um, cost? Ten billion for the Bay Bridge. Oh boy! They had to build a new Bay Bridge because the other one was collapsing after the earthquake. Um, yeah, they said they could have. They actually could have uh, just bolstered it up for a tenth of the cost, but the. Bolstered it up for the tenth of the yeah. cost. Yeah, but they had yeah. to cut. It's a beautiful. I've seen it. I've never gone across it because I've been living here too long. Yes, it looks good, but it's a. Uh, it was a. Uh, it's some weird. De- it's a design they've never used before, and so a lot of engineers think it's really unsafe. It's very modern. Very modern, but it's uh, the the posts that hold it up from the bay are just. They're kind of V shaped. They're it's yeah. very narrow as you get into the no. bottom. <laughs> It, it won't take a very big. It said it won't take an earthquake under. I know it won't take an earthquake over six. Wow. Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge is the longest single suspension bridge, I think, in America. Is it? It was until Verrazano until Narrows. Verizona Narrows. In your neighborhood. Verrazano Narrows is so long that if you look at it from a distance, it has a curve, and that's because it has to curve with the Earth. Mm-hmm. But really? It, wow. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, uh, but the Bay Bridge is a single suspension bridge, but be- it's not as long because it's two bridges. It's two bridges, yeah. There's, yeah, like, there's, there's one a going to lever and a suspension. Yeah, there's one going to Yerba Buena Island, and then when you come on the other side, it's more a traditional bridge like the Golden Gate Bridge. Right. But, but, mm-hmm. the, but the length of it isn't as long. So, uh, uh, but it's a uh, you know it's I never liked the Bay Bridge. It just it was always they always tried to make it ugly. They painted, you know, because the Golden Gate Bridge is painted golden. You know, it's painted orange, mm-hmm. and and the Bay Bridge is painted gray. So it's kind of just the dull bridge. And they used to have a train that went on the second level. Now the second level is used for traffic going in the other direction. Yeah, do, they had the old T train. Do you remember the trains? I read about them. I don't. Uh, they sounded like. They- they were much more efficient than BART, and we got rid of that, of course. Yeah. No, they, they had the trains, and they went across on the, the – the, in other words, they had a top, which traffic went both top ways. top was two-way traffic, and the bottom was the trains and trucks only. Right. right. And uh, it, was, it, it, was, it was a good bridge. You know, I mean, it served its purpose. Mm-hmm. And um, then there's the Forgotten Bridge. There's a bridge they built up. Uh, there are three bridges so that you can go entirely around the Bay Area. Uh, using the bridges, uh, and that was, of course, the Marin, uh, the Bri- Richmond. Uh, uh, Richmond Bridge, which has a name. I can't remember the name of it. It's a guy. It's named after a guy. 
some senator or something. But only in one direction. It only has that name in one direction. It has the other name going in the other direction. Did not know that. Which is, you know, the, the San Rafael Richmond Bridge is what it's called going in one direction. The other one, it's like the uh, Bob Smith Bridge or something. And, but here's how you, you think about it. You want to go, let's say you want to go from San Francisco to uh, the East Bay, and then you want to go from the East Bay to Marin, and then from Marin back to San Francisco. They've got the tolls set so that you have to pay toll at least on one of those bridges going. You don't have mm. to pay a toll going on the... Uh, I know this isn't interesting to anybody, but you don't, <laughs> you don't have to pay a toll going from San Francisco to the East Bay. The toll is only the other way. Then if you go from the East Bay and you go up to the Richmond-San Rafael Bridge, there's a toll gate right there on the Richmond side, which is the right. East Bay side. Going so you Marin. have to pay going over there. And when you go over the Golden Gate Bridge, you don't have to pay a toll because it's going the, the toll's going the other direction. All so right. they've got you so that no matter where you are, you've got to pay a toll at least on one bridge. Yeah, and they're going to raise them to about $10. Really? Yeah. When I was a kid, you know what it was? I think it was, uh, I think the, uh, when I, was, I think it was 75 cents. No, when I was a kid, it was 25 cents, but each way. Okay. You know, but you could throw a quarter into something, you know. But it's a quarter. It's going up to $10? Yeah. Like, uh, what for? Well, they said they got a raise. They're trying to, they're trying to widen 101 from uh, Nevada yeah, they, to Petaluma. Okay. And they said, we can't pay for it, so we've got to raise the tolls. Yeah, but no, but they always raise the tolls to pay for something else. Like they, exactly. They, the Golden Gate Transit Authority or whatever owns the bridge or runs the bridge used to um, uh, suddenly decided they were going to build ferries to go across from San Francisco to Marin County. And nobody used the fucking ferry. Why? It wasn't as fast. And, uh, you know, I mean, it was a nice trip, but it was a pain in the ass. So nobody, So it was failing. So they use the bridge tolls to pay for the tran- you know, the, the ferry boats. And so they raised the, the tolls, and the tolls got up to about 4 or $5 by the time I left. But now you say 10 bucks because they want to widen the roads? Fuck them. Yeah, I know. It's, it's six seventy five now. They want to add 3 bucks to that. And then uh, it's like the gas tax, which, uh, you know, they never repair the roads. And we're getting another $0.12 cents a gallon on that in November. Wow. God, it's not fun living in San Francisco anymore, is it? California, man, it's just very—it's getting very expensive. I hear getting an apartment in San Francisco is more expensive than getting one in New York City. It's hard to believe, but the one bedrooms now are four thousand. Oh God! And they said that uh, there's a bunch of new tech companies that are on the verge of having an IPO, so they think it's going to make it even worse. That's coming very shortly. I heard an IPO. Yeah. Wow. Initial purchase. You know, when they, uh, yeah. when Twitter had their IPO, yeah. I know Twitter's not doing well, and they're in, they're in your old building where we used to remember. Yeah, in the old furniture mart. Right. But when Twitter had their IPO a couple of years ago, it made, in San Francisco alone, it made 1,200 millionaires overnight. Really? So that, uh, that'll that jack up the rents even more. Yeah, and then everybody wants to live in San Francisco now because Twitter bought the trademark and put their offices in there right you know uh, and uh, it, it, a lot of those companies i think google has an office in san francisco now and they all did they have that. an office but they're big ones down in mountain view yeah but they they did that because a lot of people were working in mountain view and so they had to make in order to get employees get a bus every day to go down for free to google and there was a they literally had their own buses and then they decided, hey, it'd be cheaper if we just got our own place in San Francisco to put these people. And uh, so they did that. So, and, and you say you've got traffic problems because of Uber. Uber and Lyft bring in, they say bring in thirty to 40,000 cars a day to San Francisco. So. God damn. That's a, you can't get around here anymore. It's unbelievable. So my, my dreams of going back to San Francisco probably should not be a dream. It should just be a, a vacant memory. 
Yeah, I think you'd be unhappy. You'd be, well, you'd see this shitty architecture and you'd be appalled at what they've done to the city. Uh, what do you mean the shitty architecture? Describe Just, that. they got these high-rise glass buildings that look really tacky and... Uh, San Francisco. When my father came out here before I did, and he just he liked. He said it looked uh, kind of looked like Italy. It didn't have a lot of high rise buildings, and it, he really liked the architecture. People people really often bad. said that that San Francisco reminded them. Uh, I've heard from people uh, of London. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it has the fog, right? It has the same uh, Victorian architecture. I mean, it's a it, it's a beautiful city, but when these people come from other places. They come in and try and make it cute, rather than let, let the naturalness of the of the architecture and of the city come out. Now I hear that places like your your neighborhood, which was my neighborhood, the marina, haven't really been touched by this, right? It's that like, hasn't changed too much. Although uh, some uh, some techie they want to uh, they they want to turn the Palace of Fine Arts into a restaurant. Well, that's an awfully big restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> why do they? Uh, I mean, why don't they just put a restaurant in there? Well, someone's got a lot of money. And they in, want to buy. In the case whole people thing. don't know, when we're talking about the Palace of Fine Arts, let's not leave people out because there are people all over the country listening to this. The Palace of Fine Arts. If you ever look at a picture of some of the spots in San Francisco, you'll, you'll see this one thing that looks almost like a temple. And that was the Palace of Fine Arts. It was part of the 1916 Pan American Exposition, right, the, which was a World's Fair. Yeah, and apparently they had a bunch of stuff like that they built all over the marina. And the whole, well, the whole place where I lived, the marina, was water. And they filled it in with rubble from the 1906 earthquake and then built the World's Fair on top of it. And they had, I've seen pictures of the World's Fair then, and the Palace of Fine Arts, which you look at and go, isn't this magnificent and huge and, you know, whatever, really was one of the smallest structures at the World's Fair. Yeah, I've seen pictures. There's some amazing things they built there. Yeah, but then when they tore that all down, they then put housing in there, and that became what was known as the marina, uh, mm-hmm. which when there's an earthquake, the, the uh, ground liquefies. Uh, as, as you well know. As I well know, yes, because I was in the middle of one of those major earthquakes. But the palace. You live two blocks from the uh, palace, right? Right. We used to do our New Year's Eve, our New Year's Eve show. That's at so the great. Palace we could walk to that show. I I could walk. You had to walk further. I could just I just went down a block. I said I used to go a block to make ten thousand dollars. That's what I used to say. But. Uh, and then I invite everybody to walk back with me after the show, and we'd have a little party at my place. But anyway, yeah, so much fun. The point is, the Palace of Fine Arts. If you just look it up, folks, in the in the uh, in the uh, in Google, and you will see this magnificent building. You, it's absolutely amazing. But if you look at it closely, it's one of the worst pieces of art of all time. I mean, it's really corny if you think about it. Mm-hmm. And for instance, it's got uh, uh, on all the columns. It's got these. Uh, you know, you, you usually put like bare-breasted women or whatever on the top. You know, uh, looking out as though they're looking out over the whole thing and everything. All the all of them are looking inward. And it, it makes no sense at all. It looks like they're vomiting into the columns. <laughs> and if you watch, look at it closely, you go, eh, "This is pretty corny shit." You know, but nevertheless, I mean, what else are world fairs but in their own small way corny? <laughs> no one ever remembers a world fair. No one, no one ever remembers a world. Where was the last one? I don't remember. No. I, and, and it wasn't that the, there wasn't like with the Olympics. They say, okay, we're going to hold the Olympics here, and there's an Olympic committee. I don't think there was ever a world's fair committee that said this year it shall be in San Francisco. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's usually some podunk town that's trying to get attention. But. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, you know, like, like where was it? Ontario or Quebec or someplace they did it? And there's one in Canada in 67. There's one in, there's one in Seattle in 62, I think. I, New York had one in 64. You're the guy I go to for all this, this trivial information. No, because you just you remember these things. I tend to remember a lot of dates, yeah. 
it is a it is your it is your uh, uh, Rain Man capability. <laughs> People have compared you to to Rain Man. Well, I'm not as good. He, I'm like Drizzle Man. I think Rain Man was a little. You know, the the real Rain Man was. Uh, he he knew er, you could name it. He knew every zip code in America. Really, he'd come to town to give you the zip code. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And they they work with people that have those like the, the savants that have those yeah. talents. Well, next they, time they're ne- usually socially not they're socially inept. Right but now, when they work with them, yeah. they become more sociable. They start to lose their talent. Right now, we're running out of time. So next time we talk, remind me. Let's talk about this. I want you know I've, it's always been an amazing thing that you okay. have and that some other people have even in bigger. Ways no, than I, you. My mine is very minute. So In, minute compared to the rest of them, ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful, the attractive, the funny, Highly functioning, and and almost functioning, uh, Larry, <laughs> Larry Larry Bubbles Brown. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, buddy. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, wait a minute, let me just uh, bring my picture up, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, here we go. Hi everybody, it's Alex Bennett and uh, thank you very much Larry, we love having Larry on our program because Larry is, uh, I, I just, I love the guy. Nobody dislikes or doesn't love Larry Bubbles Brown and how can you? When he has a name like Bubbles, it just makes you really happy, Okay. If you're watching me on the uh, on the uh, on the, the Facebook Live, uh, you notice that at times I'm not looking at the camera because I'm trying to I'm operating the show at the same time that I'm that I'm talking to you. In fact, let me move the camera up just a little bit. There we go. Well, now, now you see my my shorts. No, oh well, my actually my Bermuda pants. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, uh, look how skinny I've got. Oh, gee. You know, it's Mike can't, it, it's like Mike can't wait to call, right? Mike always has to be the first one to call the program. Hello, uh, Mike. Hello. hello there. Hello, Mike. Turn on your camera, will you? Hey, did you hear what happened at Leesburg, uh, the FAA headquarters? No. They were working on the roof and they had to batten the building. Yeah. Completely. And so it blocked out half the East Coast. Oh, really? Yeah, that was kind of comical. So if you're flying out of D.C., which a friend of mine was on business, he yeah. couldn't get out last night. Oh, really? He says, it's all well. Yeah. So uh, how does that affect me or anybody that's listening to this program? Well, if you're on the East, well, that was yesterday, but it was kind of, when I heard that, I, they had to abandon the building because of that. And it was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's what I forgot yesterday. Oh, okay. So, but uh, your your camera quality is a lot better today for some reason. My camera quality is always good. It's your reception that's bad. No, it isn't. Don't it's insult. Perfect. Don't insult my camera. <laughs> Last night on Jack's show was wild. Why was it wild? Uh, Phil was in there arguing with Amy, Jack, and I about his Republican reviews. It ended up being a shout match. Really? And Amy got a little pissed off. She she says, son of a bitch. I never heard her swear. But, oh, she swore. (laughs) Swore last night. Well, you know, the trouble is you can't take Phil that seriously. And no. Amy takes everything very, 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 very seriously. True. You know? True. And, and uh, <sighs> you know, I mean, I, I love doing battle with Phil. You know? And sometimes sometimes he gets me a little mad. Sometimes when, when, he, when he gets me the maddest, and I know he just signed on, so he'll probably be calling any moment now. But the time he gets me the maddest, all right, is when I'm trying to say something, and he interrupts. And then I forget what I was saying. Now, I'm an old man, okay? You interrupt me, I'm going to forget what I was saying, okay? Right. It's just the nature of the beast. Uh, and, and then I just get really mad at him, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. But it uh, looked like you had fun on Fire Island. It looked like a nice place to, you know, yeah, it's to okay. retire. It's a, uh, to retire. You wouldn't want to retire there. That's not a retirement community. In fact, during the winter, you can't even really live there. Because they're uh, the storm. Because of the weather, yeah. In case people are looking, there are pictures zipping around because people are joining us. Hello, Phil. Hey, you're pulling the old man card? What do you mean the old man card? I'm not pulling any old man card. Wait a minute, Phil, last night, do you you agree with me? Jack Stroll was a little bit on the wild side. I gave him a little spice, you know. Uh, yeah, well, it was a little more than a little spice last night. Well, so. the thing you got to remember about about uh, about uh, uh, about uh, uh, our boy. Uh, uh, no, our boy uh, Phil is that he does spice things up. He does make the shows interesting. If you say the show was great last night, it's probably because Phil was like getting in there with his ration of shit. Hello, Scott. Haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Oh, I've been tired, sleeping. Oh, really? And, but tonight, you're wide awake, right? You're ready to yeah, go. Actually, I, I got up and I ran today so I'd have more energy. Kind of change my uh, blood flow or something. I don't know. If I ran, I'd get drowsy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Hey, Scott, you going for that Big Lebowski look? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, this is what happens when you're not working. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. Now, that, <laughs> that's something to get jealous over. <laughs> well, jealous, Phil? <laughs> it's I'm trying to beat Mike. Yeah. Well, the, trouble, it, uh, the, the trouble is it's hair, you know, and uh, that's something that uh, we are not that. Well, you have some, but you bought yours, Phil. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, boy, uh, those were plugs, right? But I get my money back; they're all falling out. <laughs> uh, uh, That's I, true. It was thirty-five hundred follicles, and those are still there. It's the original stuff that uh, that they didn't put in. Oh, that's I gone. see. So, when did you have it done? Oh, about fourteen, fifteen years ago. Oh, so uh, you don't care now, do you? Not at all. <laughs> you know. Once I started, what a waste of money. What a waste of money. Once I started to lose my hair, I said, you know, I, I did. I did. You ever buy a toupee? No. I bought a toupee once. I said, well, I had money. You know, I had fuck you money. Okay, in those days, and I decided that um, every guy who's ever going bald goes, uh, maybe I should get a, 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 a toupee. So I figured I'd buy a toupee just for the fuck of it. And I used to tune into your show every once in a while. I thought the Toupee Place was your uh, sponsor, one of, one of your sponsors, Hair Club for Men or no, something? No, no, no. I didn't have Hair Club. I didn't have a Toupee Place. No. Uh, you know, they sew, they sew it on. No, and no, they no. Sew no. I never had them. Never had them as huh? I have. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. Oh. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. Yeah, you're allergic to your Toupee. Yeah, I'm allergic to talking <laughs> about my Toupee. But anyway, so hold on a second. I just want to make sure we're... We're doing okay on the on the video. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, it's great. No, so I uh, uh, one day I just decided, uh, what the hell? Let me get a toupee and see what it looks like. So we found this guy down in uh, in uh, the South Bay. Supposedly made the best toupees in, in San Francisco, and he was willing for a thousand dollars to sell me one toupee and then a second toupee for free as my spare. Okay, I never ever got the spare, but I got the one toupee. And I tried wearing it, and I'm telling you, man, a hairpiece looks like a fucking hairpiece. You yeah. know, you're better just letting yourself go bald and cutting your hair short as preemptive baldness, and you look you look pretty damn good and neat. Don't get the, you know, but you get this hairpiece, this skull doily, you know, that you put on your head, and uh, oh, you don't have to show us uh, that you have hair, uh, Mike. Not to interrupt. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but, look, look uh, at these two people. Look, uh, look at what they're doing to us, Phil. Look, yeah. look, look at that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Just, why don't you yeah. toss it a little Scott, bit? Toss it, it. toss it, Scott. They're unkempt. Unkempt. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm doing the Tillerson now. I used to, I used to comb it and part it, and now I, I brush it straight back, which gives me a little bit more forehead. But uh, I, I actually like the the way it looks. Uh, and uh, it, it looks well, more it, like the there Tillerson. Is, it, there is nothing where there are two Tillerson. things. There are two things. A girlfriend made me stop coloring my hair, and I'm glad yeah, she did. That didn't work for me either. Coloring ha- your hair when you see somebody, and it's 
all, kind of all their hair is dark. You know yeah. they're fucking faking it. You know, well, they feels get... like this henna or something uh, for me, and and it, and it and it looked like uh, looked a little red. It, well, uh, I I used to get that uh, hair hair stuff for men stuff. Oh, you Grecian know. formula? No, not Grecian formula. That used to turn gray. It did something to the follicles, but no, I'm talking uh, about just you know something for men. I can't remember what it was. Just just yeah. for men, just uh, for men, just for men, something like that. And it was like. Is that the comb in stuff? Well, you know, you put it in the bottle. You, you, you mix the two bottles or something together, and then you put it all in this thing, and then you, I don't know, squirt it on your head and, and yeah. comb it through and stuff. And, and uh, oh, yeah, I think you had to put a, a, a like a little hat, what, a transparent. Oh, keep it from dripping down your yeah, face. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm telling you, what was terrible about it was is that then your scalp started itching like crazy. I was allergic to it, but I was willing to have the pain so I wouldn't have the dark hair. And when I went Mar met Marjorie, she said, will you stop coloring your hair? It looks orange. Yeah, yeah. that's the color orange. I, I, I was thinking of the touch of gray, where you just kind of comb it in around your temples or whatever. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Get, make it look like a little bit gray. Not, I've, not totally I've gray. been touched by gray. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, 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 I'm going to give a comment. I'm not going to make no comment about that. Yeah, but anyway, uh, you know, and, and you know, I'm about. I saw that somebody just signed on, and here he is. Here's 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 another person we can hate, Phil, for his hair. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, uh, it's Rob, Rob Alfano, yeah, the best hair. Look, look, uh, look. Rob's so got the still, great hair still too. Got color, huh? It's still got the original color. You, you, you don't know? color it, do you, Rob? Hey, hey. This is the original color, but a little gray. Yeah, but, you, but Rob, you don't color it, do you? No. No. No, I don't color. So, you, how did you? And, I, and you're in your sixties, right? Just turned sixty. Just turned well, 60, sixty and a half. Sixty and a half. Oh, you're 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 like a kid. Kids used to right. measure and right. I'm sixty and a half. You know, I'm going to be sixty and a half. You know, don't rush things. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, no. But but. Uh, 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 and you're not gray at all. I mean, or do, well, there's, there's some gray in there. You could. It's it's hard to could, it's hard to see in our TV presentation. Yeah, you're not going to see it in the TV. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a little. It's distinguished. You know what it is. Life is Can terrible tonight because now we have Jeff Stein has joined us and he has hair. I yeah. Really yeah, I mean, it, it's it, he has a little receding forehead, but you've got most of your hair. You don't comb it over anything, do you? No. No. Yeah. So I wash it once in a while. You wash it <laughs> once in a while, but what I'm saying is, is uh, uh, that when you're not working, as uh, Scott is, okay, you tend to let yourself go. I've given up. You, I've given up. You know, I'll go. I'll suddenly go. How many days is it since I shaved? Oh, the last time I shout, but I showered. How long ago did I shower? <laughs> I used to shave sometimes twice a day. I'd, I'd shave with a, a regular razor, then an electric. I always had a very, very smooth skin. And uh, lately, I'm going three, four days sometimes be, uh, between shaving. Yeah, uh, I, I shave in the shower, and I usually cut myself. But uh, yeah, the, I shave, uh, yeah, how, how many here shave in the shower? Well, I don't. You trim, don't you, Jeff? So we, we you don't yeah. count. But how many shave in the shave. shower? Yeah, I shave in the shower. I shave in the shave shower too. And... I do it I by know. I do it by braille. I can feel yeah, it. Me too. Yeah, yeah. And one of these days, I'm going to go to the Bed Bath and Beyond and get one of those mirrors that don't fog up. You know, that, that uh, hang on the thing so you can actually see what you're yeah. doing. Oh, by the That's way, we're being joined. Bucks. We're being joined yeah. in the car by uh, by uh, Brian. And we're being joined by John Rockwell. Hello, John. How are you this evening? I hear you're you're, you're talking about hair, of which I have quite a bit, and I've look been, I, been, who, what? been taking a survey about whether I should just tie it up in a ponytail or cut the damn thing. <laughs> I got about half and half with my local bar. The girls said make it a ponytail. The guys were like, eh, whatever you want to do, dude. So I'm thinking, yeah, do a please show, right? What about, John, what about? John, go Steven Seagal. There you go. Exactly. I can do that. Yeah. Actually, yeah. one of the girls gave me a uh, a hair tie, which I've never yeah. had. But I don't, think I, I don't think I can get it to work, you know, because it's like, how do you get it? Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. So we'll see. You can do it. 
If I come in tomorrow, I may have I may be I may have a crew cut, so we'll see. Well, you know what I did once years ago. Trippin'. Years ago, when I was when I had hair down to here, you never knew me during those days. I did. 19- I don't think so. No, you did. Three, I, I had longish hair. It wasn't super long. No. No, but uh, I had, had hair down something. to my shoulders. You know, because yeah. I was the youth. I've guru. seen the pictures. I was, I've according the to pictures. the New York Times, the youth guru. Okay, and so I wore my hair down uh, to here. I mean, it was. It, oh yeah. And uh, you, uh, do you remember that, John? Well, I think I don't think you wore it down when no, when but, I knew no, you, you, but knew before me. that, and I saw pictures of you yeah, and yeah. from like PLJ and stuff like that. Right. Some of your radio days, and and also earlier ones, you had pictures of. Uh, when you were in like Texas and stuff, you had long hair. You yeah. Know, very right. hip- anyway, I first so, met you. You were PLJ. You're one of them yeah. hippies. Yeah. So anyway, I'm. Uh, uh, I was hanging around Max's Kansas City all the time, which was the watering hole for the. And the, one university. The, the, the art. The art set. Right. That's where Warhol hung out, and you know uh, everybody. Anyway, in it, fact, we're still in high Debbie school. Harry was a waitress. Debbie Harry was a waitress there, and so was my wife. Really? I, I came to find out. Yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Anyway. One day I I decided I, Susan I, there? I huh? No. Didn't Susan work there? No, 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 I no. thought she, she was not, she not was, there. She was never a waitress. No? No. I thought I thought she was I, I didn't know. No, Mm-mm. no. So I, a, anyway, uh I uh I one day I had to go get a haircut because you know even when it's long you gotta get a haircut, you gotta get it trimmed. And I walked into this barber, and I said, they said, what do you want? And I looked at my head, and I said, cut it all off. <laughs> and, he, and he went and gave me a very close haircut, okay? Mm-hmm. And I walked out of the place, and I said, you know, for the first time in years, I'm beginning to feel like a freak again. <laughs> because everybody in the world had long hair. So now I go to Max's Kansas City that night, and everybody starts giving me a bad fucking time. What did you do to your hair? And I said, I just decided I was sick and tired of how long it took to dry every day and the fact that it would blow in the wind in my mouth and everything. And I just, it was too much. It's t- it was time to just make a change. And they went, well, that's, you know, how hip can you be if you did it? Within a week, at least 10 other people cut their hair short. It was like I had to. It's, Trendsetter, babe. Trendsetter. No, I had to be the first one. It's like networks when they on news story, and all of them are afraid to sign off before the other one with a news story. Wasn't you know? there a certain camaraderie and trust uh, amongst people with longer hair in those years? No. Yeah. You don't think so? No, I don't. That's think from the so. song. No, uh, you know there was even a almost cut my hair. I think is the song dope. you're thinking of. Well, that yeah. Hair. I, I was going to let hair. my freak oh, flag fly. That was the yeah, uh, right. that was the term. But uh, did you ever have long hair, Phil? I uh, no. It, my hair was very curly. I tried to do an afro. I had I had a bit of oh, an afro. Oh my god. But, uh, not not much. Wow. Phil uh, with an afro. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And the hair that is on me now came from the back, and the back hair was straighter than uh, what was everywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> So, there you go. Yeah. So I mean, I you know, I, I that that uh, that's my story with hair. And then I just kept. Uh, I guess when I started losing it, I started going to Vidal Sassoon in San Francisco and would pay seventy dollars in those days, which was a lot of money for a haircut. Still was is. Howard working there at that time? Yeah, no, he had uh, he was not working there any longer. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, and I and I used to go there and they used to cut my hair. They did a great job. You know, yeah. I'm not. I'm, and it, it wasn't that the great job wasn't. I was like, I was starting to lose it. So people were going, "You're paying seventy dollars to have them cut the sides of your head," you know. <laughs> and and I said, "Yeah," because the reason is when I started going to like, I go to a cheap barber now, twelve bucks, right? Zip, zip, zip. That's it, right? But when it grows out, it, everything grows out a different length. When you went to Sassoon, your hair grew out even. The, you know. the gal that cuts my hair now uh, learned from my friend who passed away, and she uses a razor and scissors, and uh, she, she gives me a good cut that you makes never it fill use in a razor. More. You should never use a razor on your hair. Uh, really? The way she does it. I know the, you should she... never use a razor on the hair because it splits yeah. ends. It's not good for the hair. It, it, yeah. it makes the hair a little wiry. Uh, I, there was a guy in, I think in San Francisco who was very famous because he'd come up with the razor cut. 
-hmm. And everybody assailed him, saying the razor cut was a bad idea because it it it, it literally split the split the ends on the hair. And women will tell you they hate split ends. So yeah, well, I don't have any split ends. It's uh, just uh, it it makes it uh, a little how fuller. How much how much do you pay for that? Uh, I'm a legacy. I'm, I pay fifty bucks. You pay fifty bucks for that haircut. You know, oh, you, you, know you could go to my guy for twelve bucks, <laughs> right for twelve wow. bucks, and look yeah. just as good. Look, yeah, but does I used, this look? I used to does this more. look? Does this look terrible? It, yeah, I think he cut it a little short. It's bald. <laughs> well, no, I, 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 it's summertime in New York City. It's hot. You want it short? True. You know? Exactly. No hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, that's right. It's gonna be ninety three tomorrow. I mean, I yeah. can Was have it any trog? length I want. Uh, uh, Is that the trogs? Hot town. And I have to go to my dentist. I, I have to go to my dentist tomorrow. It means I have to get out of the apartment and go downtown, so, or midtown. Yeah, I gotta go to a doctor up on Ninety uh, Eighth Street, so that'll be fun. Yeah. What I, are they talking about this yeah. thing in New York, a Hell Hell Station or something that uh, they're they're cutting down over the summer the uh, number of trains and uh, oh people yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's basically because the folks down at Penn Station, the Amtrak people especially, uh, hadn't really, you know, there's a lot of stuff that has to be repaired and they didn't get around to it. So now they're going to do it in the summer. Yeah. And they're going to. But actually, the first couple of days, they've, uh, you know, everybody, they, they've changed their schedules and put more more trains on earlier and whatever. And the last, first couple of days, people. You know, the local news people are like, geez, you know, it's not all that bad yet. Well, <laughs> I, I go, I, I go out, wait a minute, I go out to see my friend Shecky. And he yeah. lives at 179th Street. It's the last stop on the F train. For the next yeah. five weeks, it's not going to 179th Street on weekends. So I have to see him well, on weekends. That's a subway. That's all. Yeah, Sam, that's a subway. The We're subway. Talking, I, oh, you're talking about the, the train. The train is all, you, you know, the you, you, LI, Long Island Railroad and Amtrak. Long Island but Railroad. Those seem to be yeah. sort of adjusting. But you're right. The subway still sucks. Well, we've had a lot of troubles lately with uh, trains colliding oh, yeah. and doing all kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, derailment in your neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, is that fixed? Uh, well, I mean, the train's coming through, so you know, I guess they got it off the tracks or something. I don't, I don't know what mm -hmm. they do in situations like that. You know, you've got just one track, or you, you actually do have two tracks, but one's going in one direction up there, and one's going yeah, the other express direction. Tra express track, local track, on different levels on, on Central tracks, Park West. Yeah. yeah, but. <laughs> But I think at that point, there were only two tracks down there, one going in one direction and one going in the other direction. So mm -hmm. I don't know what they were doing there. There probably was somewhere to reroute the trains around that station. I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know the subway system that well. But anyway, so from here on in, uh, for the next five weeks, i got to go out during the weekdays to see Shecky. I can't go out and see him uh, on the weekend. So, uh, you know. How much is it to ride the Take subway? Take the bus. Subway for me, because I'm an I'm I'm a, a senior, and the, what it is they give you a they me give, too they give huh? And, and I'm tell, a senior. And, I got my senior metro card. And tell you tell half them, price. Tell them how horrible it's not. Is it half price it's or is it a little less than half? A little less than half. Two seventy five for a, a normal. The normal ride like one, is two seventy five. We have one thirty. We have one thirty five. Is it one thirty five? It's one thirty five. So it's actually two seventy yeah. round. For, you know, See, so it's, I don't, it's a little less than half price. Subway used to be fifteen cent token. Well, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, and 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 forty and, years ago, <laughs> and you could get across the Golden Gate Bridge here, yeah. for twenty five cents. Uh, I remember that. Uh, each way, though, it each, was each way. Each way, yes, each way. But anyway, the point I'm making mm -hmm. is that uh, the um, uh, what were we saying about the about the uh, uh, oh yeah the senior card. It it's good to have a senior card because you get it and it's you just use it all the time and. It's a buck thirty-five to take the train. It was a buck when I first got it. Yep. Um, you can't get an unlimited, uh, you know, just a well, one. You, it pay, isn't. A, pay, it isn't. It pump. is unlimited. Well, there's one where you will automatically uh, refill when you get down below, like you know. Well, they, they have. They have. Well, they have ones for regular yeah, for regular people too. But the seniors is that way too. You put, you put it yeah, on. They don't a have a monthly cards. card that you pay a flat rate for, and you could use it no, all. No, no, I have yeah. one card. Well, they and do. Any time yeah. I use it, it's it's one dollar and thirty five cents. You know, and when I use it, takes it out of your. Yeah, yeah. and it just and once it gets below a certain point, it, it makes it go up. You never have to worry about the card not working. Okay. 
So that's the that's the way uh, like a BART car and BART, which is the Bay Area Rapid Transit. You yeah. you go to a machine, you put money in, it gives you a card, and then you use that card until you extinguish all the money. Well, no, but yeah, this is a DC card you well. get you get that's mailed to you from the system, and it's a yeah. card I use for the next. Uh, however long until it expires, and they have to send me a new one. Uh, I see. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's like I the, actually went downtown and got mine area. down at uh, way down by uh, Bowling Green, you mm -hmm. know, so because I had to get my picture taken and everything. Well, they never, I never, uh, they never, yeah, they never got about. me my, they never got me my old one, so I had to call them and they had to send me a new one. So for several mm -hmm. weeks, I had to pay regular fare on the subway. Although yeah. they said yeah. I could, I could, was, I could go up to the person, show them my uh, driver's license. And I could get it for the regular price, but what are we Not talking about here? God, oh, uh, well, we seem it, to be getting started when you were talking to Bubbles about the bridge no, but, and but so it's, forth. But it's ten this has a tendency to make me sound really old, which I am. Anyway, <laughs> what I hate about the the senior card is right yeah. on the front where everybody can see it. It says <laughs> senior, <Old> right? <laughs> What's the uh, age to get that card? Sixty-two. I think it's is it six? What is it? Sixty. I think it's sixty-five. It's sixty-five. Because I got it. I got it a couple of years ago. Because there, there are advantages to being. Mine open. just says photo ID pass, but that's my senior metro card. That's your senior I metro downtown. card. Uh, oh, but you don't have a senior card yet, do you? What is senior? It's his senior. Wait a minute. How, well, turn it around the front side of it. Well, this is the front side. It has what? a yellow. It says Metro. That's card, not photo the way ID mine pass. looks. I, if I but had my it photo here, got actually. rubbed off over years of city, couple a year oh. and a half of. Sitting in the same pocket that's, that has that's my not keys. A senior, that's not a senior pass. Oh yeah, it is. It it is. Did it say off. senior on the front when you got it? No, actually, it doesn't. Well, I got because I, I went down to the MTA, the MTA down on. Uh, uh, it's like around uh, Bowling Green or whatever. You go in there and mm -hmm. you go online. You know, well, if, take I, too I, long. if I might they take a picture and then they about ten minutes later they call you up and you. Hey, I can't remember. It wasn't too much. It was like a minimal, minimal fee. And then you have to, of course, put money on it. If I, but if, it works yeah. just fine. If I had my wallet in these pants, I'd show you mine. It's the one that says senior on it. Senior. Oh, right so now, I'm doing a job for the county connection. That's the, yeah. the bus line that picks up all the seniors and, and drops them off uh, here and there. I'm yeah. doing their dispatch center and a couple of other That's areas. That's very nice that you're helping yeah. us seniors. They call Thank you very much. Here. Uh, I, yeah, you're, you're, only about two, you're only about a couple of years away from being one of us. So, you know. I'll tell you. <laughs> I, got my yeah. first, right. I got my first movie uh, over this. We went, I went to the movies and I got senior tickets. 60 and older. 60 mm -hmm. and older, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I used to have a girlfriend who was going to college. I mean, she was like in her 40s, but she was going to college. So we would go into a theater and say, give me a senior and give me a student. He could be arrested for that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They, they looked at me. They looked at her. I said, yeah, she's a student. Show me your card. She was going to some school. Just one more thing on transportation. Out here we have uh, the bridges, and there's something called the Fast Pass, and yeah. it connects. Uh, I have one. I that still have mine nice. from the Golden Gate yeah, Bridge. Here, yeah. yeah, and uh, so as you you go over the bridge, then it charges your. Uh, there, it takes money uh, up to a certain point based on your usage, and when you get below that point, it automatically charges your yeah. charge card yeah. and replenishes yeah. it. Yeah. Like an easy pass, we have easy. We pass. have easy pass. Uh, you, yeah. you think this is something unusual for the for well, the Bay the, Area? Well, the this area, is the way they all them. run all over the country. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mike has his hand up. Question: What is safe for the ride in New York? Ride the bus or the uh, subway? Uh, it I doesn't like matter, both, but I'll but, tell you, you know. the bus is a nice ride. I love the yeah. bus. Yeah. Uh, I, Subways just seem like you know, you're underground. You're like you're like ooh, it's faster. Well, it's, well, it, it, it's faster, but I got to tell you, when you uh, I, we take like uh, an M two uh, here mm -hmm. to here uh, and from well, the, uh, like down where, where girlfriend lives, the M two, and that thing mm -hmm. is an express. And it just it sure you know, is. but it's it's a more leisurely ride. It's it, it's you're not going to get jammed in with other people. I mean, the subway cars at rush hour. I went on one yesterday, and it was just hellacious. Not only was it filled at capacity, I mean, where you almost had to push people in to get them to fit, and they're like sardines. 
but the, like the subway, uh, but the subway yeah, was. Yeah, I've seen that. The well, subway, the subway was going slowly, and this guy had his foot on the pedal, and then off the pedal, and on the pedal, and mm -hmm. off the pedal, and it's just <laughs> jerky all the way. But uh, when I New York, but, but the, no but the buses, the, the buses are really well, nice. Is. Long time ago. Yeah. yeah, they're air conditioned now, unless they're broken. Now people say, <laughs> Alex, are you now so poor that you can't take a cab? I wouldn't take a cab if I were the richest man in the world. Be you don't try, am you I don't right, Jeff? Am I right, Jeff? Because they just they get stalled in traffic, and all the angst you would have as a driver, you're having as a passenger. Mm -hmm. You know, where when you get on a subway, that thing, it, it, for the most part, it keeps going. It is forward movement, and the bus, it has sort of a right of way, so it has a forward movement. So I, mass transportation in New York is the way to go. So. Mm. Yeah. I haven't owned a car for over 20 years now. I guess there's no reason. You know, I don't go out of town all that much. If I do, I'll rent a car. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have a friend it's who's... It's not, not even worth having a car. But I have a friend who has many millions of dollars, and he always takes the subway. Mm -hmm. You know, because the subway is more practical. Well, Bloomberg? <laughs> no. But Bloomberg no. used to take it. He used to take the subway, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, Jeff. He has many millions. My son, who lives in Brooklyn and, and works in Manhattan, you know, yeah. normally takes the train and this and that. But on the weekends, like if they got to go go somewhere or like they go uh, to buy something and pick it up and things like that, they they like rent a car. Oh, yeah. That, that's an Internet car. Zip cars. Yeah, the zip cars. Zip, zip cars. cars. That, those are all and over the place. It's great. Just, Puts it on the internet and it says, oh, yeah, there's one, uh, two straight, you know, go down straight and turn to the right and there's one of them there. Take yeah, well, <laughs> they, I, I signed up for Zipcar at one point and then I decided it wasn't a good idea because I, you, you don't have a lot of flexibility. You can tell them you want it from, uh, say, noon to three o'clock. But if you're longer than three o'clock, you have to call. Oh, they, them. They'll kill you. <laughs> and, and if you don't call them, they'll charge you a whole mass of money, you know. Yeah. So I, I got rid of my zip car thing immediately. To tell you the mm. truth, I didn't need it anyway. What the hell? Well, oh, now yeah. there's Uber. <laughs> no, those, yes. those were the I days when Uber when when I'm Costco sorry. wasn't in the neighborhood in which I lived, and we had to come all the way up here to 116th Street. Now I just take a cab down there. I'm fine. Well, you have the green cabs up there, which are the uptown yeah. cabs. Yeah, which I, which I can't get down on 86th Street because they can't because go below that. 96th Street. Yeah, you know, even if they're going uptown, which are where I'm going. Well, if I if I take one and I take it all the way to the bottom of Manhattan, he can't pick up a well, fare yeah. till he gets back to 96. John, just take a cab ten blocks, get well, off, and get well, the green cab. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, well that, yeah. There's that too. Well, no, I, I just take I like, the, I just take I like the, the green the Q train to 96th Street and the 96th Street bus. Yeah. You know, so when I when I first came here, when I first came to this neighborhood, we had nothing but what they called the black cars. They were yeah. and and they they all had the TLC uh, license plate, but they and were what we called in the old days boat. gypsy cabs. Pretty and much. the reason why they were so prominent in this neighborhood was. That if the yellow cab went through Harlem, it went through Harlem. It just <laughs> turned off its turned on its oh, off its cabs, uh, light. Do they still have checkers. Oh, wait, they can I finish what I'm saying first? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I didn't interrupt you. No, there you are no you. there are no checker cabs left that I know. Not anymore. Anyway, um, the yellow cabs were just you know they came into Harlem. Boom! That light went. The on-duty uh, light went off, and they just zipped right through this neighborhood. So the only people that were really carrying people were these black cabs. And I had to learn how to use them because you, you said, so how much to go to such and such a place? And mm. they sometimes you say, how much you want to pay? You know, No and, meter, no meters. No meters. And uh, so what happened was at a certain point they decided, let's bring, make the, let these people be legal, and they came up with the green car. So all these black cars were getting painted green, a lot of them, who wanted to be part of it. And it's, it's metered if you pick them up on the street. If you call them, they, they run like a, like a town car. You can, they can say, oh, it'll cost you so much for me to take you somewhere. It also meant that they were out in like uh, the, the outer boroughs, which they never, when I lived in Brooklyn in the 70s and 80s, you never saw. Where I lived, you never saw a yellow cab unless it was on its way quickly getting back to the to the Brooklyn or Manhattan bridges just yeah. to get out of there. 
Yeah. There you, was no, they, they weren't going to have any uh, yeah. affair. How you, you doing, know? Brian? I, I notice you're driving. You're driving Speaking home. Are, are you driving home? Yes, I am. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Uh, did you deliver anything interesting today? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Anyway, so uh, so anyway, I uh, uh, I finally got my delivery from from Federal Express today. It, it, it got Broken. sent to my wife's office, so there wouldn't be any question. You know, it's just they they were so terrible. But anyway, I have one final final thing about the black cabs. Yeah, I remember they used to some of them. You know, that were part of a larger network uh, probably run by local, you know, Brooklyn or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, guys, they used to have a bumper sticker that said, we aren't yellow. We'll drive anywhere. <laughs> yes. Yes. That. Yes. That was so cool. Well, I remember when I used to have hair down to here, I, could, I would hail a yellow cab and it would just go right by me because I had long hair. And I would give them, I, I gave them this as they went by. You know. There used to be in the subway a sign that said, little enough to ride for free, little enough to ride no, your knee. No, Is that it, no if, 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 if you're young enough to ride for free, you're young enough to sit on your, they're young enough to sit on your knee. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, apparently yeah. everybody's forgotten that. Because <laughs> here I am, I could get on, I could get on a goddamn train that's full with a cane, yeah. and there'd be some little kid there sitting there next to his parent, and do you think they're going to get the kid out of the and say, hey, give the seat to the old man with the cane? No. No. No, no way. <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, but they're pretty good normally. The, the buses are very good. I, I use a cane more just sort of as a backup. I can walk without it, but it's sort of nice to occasionally going up downstairs and stuff. And people were sort of surprised when they, I get on the bus and they and they look and they say, "Do you want to sit down?" I said, "No, no, I'm only, only going to be on for, you know, three or four stops. I'm fine." They're like, "Really?" I said, uh, "Let me put like, it this yeah, way: it's a cane. It doesn't mean I'm totally disabled." Si <laughs> since I've hit sixty-five, mm -hmm. okay, which is twelve years ago, mm -hmm. I have only once had somebody offer me their seat because I was older. You're kidding? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they want almost every time I'm on the bus. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe I don't look as old as and you do. Thank you very yeah. much, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. It's younger, it's younger people too. It's like twenty somethings and all that ask me, and I'm like, no, we're no, okay. You know, yeah. I mean, occasionally, if I'm going to be go going long distance, like, yeah, thanks, but yeah. you know, yeah, right. I'm, I'm fine. It's just, it is funny though. They really do, and they and they let me get on the bus first. You know, I'm yeah. like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that always because you have a cane? Well, I think so. When I you know, if I don't use the cane, so sometimes I just I have a my man purse there, and I'll I'll, I'll hang it on there and walk up, and they're going like, oh, you know, don't worry about. It. But I think because the I think it's the cane, because nobody ever asks me if I want to sit down if I don't have the cane, even though I have the the gray hair and everything. I don't think I've ever had anyone. John, tell me. if you fly an airline that you're not a uh, you know you don't have a, a status on, mm -hmm. and they won't let you on first. Do you get on with the uh, ch uh, women, children, and those that need uh, those that need help? Right. And the assistance, yeah. right? If you need yeah. assistance, right? Yeah, yeah. I did well, it with my dad. You get you overhead in. Oh yeah. You know oh, what yeah. I hate? Right. Here's here's what I really hate though. Here, here, there are a couple of good good things about getting older, like my union. I now don't have to pay union dues anymore. I am a uh -huh. legacy member. Okay, so that's nice. But here's what happens: as an old person. You don't want to fall. And mm. the reason is, is everybody then comes up and says, can we help you? Are you okay, old man? You, know, <laughs> and, and I, you feel so embarrassed because you tripped, you know. If I'm and you break things. Huh? And if you fall, you get hurt. Well, you know, it's I, not like I, when you were I a take, kid. You I, fell, you got right back up. I've taken some pretty good falls and not had any problem, you know. So. Whatever. Mm. So what's happening in the news? Anything? Oh, hey, did you see where Joe Scarborough said he's quitting the Republican Party? There you go. He quit, he quit a long time no, ago. No, he didn't. Yeah, no. he did. No. He didn't officially quit. No, he, he, <laughs> he didn't. He quit your brand he, of Republicanism. Yeah. Back, so. yeah. Uh, 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 Compared to what it used to be, yeah. Uh, no, he he went on Colbert's show uh, last night, 
and said that he is uh, this, this stop, you know he was a Republican congressman at one time. Mm-hmm. You know, you know that's how much of a Republican he was, and he's maintained being a Republican. And all of a sudden, he just said uh, on the Colbert show, he said, "I'm no longer a member of the Republican Party. I'm going to be an independent." He said, "I don't like what the Republican Party has become." He said that what. You know, just because Donald Trump is a Republican doesn't mean they should excuse his bad behavior. Does he like what the Democratic Party has become? He's not becoming a Democrat. A Democrat. Okay, he's 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 an independent, and he said that. But he said that he. You know, I mean, he was speaking on behalf of the party that he uh, was. You know, a part of and uh, believed in and. was uh, ran for office with and so on and just said uh you know the way they are just completely disregarding the bad behavior of this president and allowing him to kind of get away with it without admonishing him is just disappointing you know where is the republic where's the republican uh, that is out saying hey you know the way he's going after minorities is is uh, tasteless you know he, that none there, of them. there are republicans out there ryan is one of them uh that uh, uh is uh, uh, come ryan, out i haven't and, heard him do it yeah i haven't heard uh, anybody else heard, heard ryan do it well there's your fantastic. there's your call don't listen to ryan he's downplayed it a lot yeah he, he's in other words well he said where are the republicans when there's this really bad behavior person who's going out after uh uh Muslims and uh, Mexicans no, no, that, that, and so on. Uh, no, no. Where are the where are the Republicans who are chastising him, saying this is wrong? I don't care whether you're a Republican or not. He's not going after Muslims. He's going oh, after. Don't give, me, don't give me that bullshit. He is singling out people of a particular religious type from certain countries who he thinks are going to be uh, trouble. Okay, he's he, he you know, it's horrible. It's terrible. And and Somalia and Libya and Iran, they are and, trouble. Wait a minute. And do you think there are a lot of people there who aren't? And do you think that maybe the majority of the population has no desire to bomb anybody in the United States or whatever? Sure. Then vet them. Make sure, you know, that you're typical of the Republican men. who uh, countenances his bad behavior. I don't think it's so bad. You know, I, I agree with his behavior. I feel that it's uh, making America safer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Space. You know, America is for citizens that live here. If you want to visit this America country. America is for hey, citizens. If you're, if you're an American and you want to go to another country, they, they make sure you, can, you can't work. They'll give you a visa to stay there for six months, but you can't what do you mean? work. I could go to France tomorrow. I could go to France tomorrow. I could go to France tomorrow and get a, th- a three-year visa uh, and work there for three years. Well, on my passport, when I would go to a country... I could go to China and get a 10-year visa. I could go to China and get a 10-year visa. Yeah, if you apply for a certain visa to, to work, and if they and they have a reason that they want you to be there and work. Well, but uh, if you're just a tourist, and you're coming in as a tourist... Uh, they, well, if you're you coming in as a tourist, that, all they know. want you to do is spend money. So, that, that, right. you know, but I mean, I don't, you don't know what you're saying, Phil. Uh, look, it, right on my passport, it, it says uh, when uh, when you go to the uh, most most places when they used to stamp them, it, it said not not for employment, and uh, and you no, were on your passport. It should be stamped. Stamp. Don't judge us by him. What? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, the, Mike. Uh, Mike. Why does uh, Trump have to spend all these millions of dollars putting up a stupid wall? They can use that money in infrastructure. You know, to build this country back up and build build up its transportation and its roads. Can you answer say that? Well, to begin with, no, to begin with, the Republicans are fucking stupid. That's Mike, no. Mike, to begin with, he's never going to get that wall built. I mean, I, I, I think to think of that, uh, Jeff, do you think there's a chance that he's going to be able to build that wall? He's not, not only going to build uh, but the Mexicans. Wait, wait, I asked, I asked Jeff. Texas. <laughs> huh? What? Not only becomes governor of Texas. Exactly. Uh, there was an interesting uh, uh, thing. I, I don't remember which uh, channel had the interview, but this is a company, a solar company, 
and they came up with a design for the wall that had solar panels on it, and their composition. Oh you know, no no! And the way this thing was shaped, it was it was amazing uh, that it would keep people from coming over it. Plus, with all of these solar panels on it, it would generate enough electricity that they could sell to the Mexicans, and therefore the Mexicans would end up paying for the wall. Do you want to know uh, how much what? those solar panels would cost? Wait, wait, why spend that type of money on something, stu something that stupid? This is a only, only stupid, company. only stupid Republicans. This only is a private Republicans company. Mike, this is a private company that Good. came up with a proposal to build yeah, a Yeah, but the Republicans say, well, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. They're going to bust their bars up and down with their fingers up their asses. Uh, no. Well, you know, if you like digits, you like digits. But, uh, hey, Jeff, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I think you have a great idea. Was it mine? This, this electrical wall. Yeah. That some company has it. But the reality is nobody's really doing it. Well, they're, they're talking about... It's there's not like, as economical... How as tall is think. this wall going to be, by the way? Who's going to maintain uh, that wall? Yeah, but I guess... How tall is the wall, how tall is the wall going to be? Uh, okay, let me, let me explain. This wall is made out of a metal mesh that is... You can't write graffiti on it. And it has a angle to it uh, that it goes like this and then like that. So, uh, and then on the top of it is where the solar panels are. Uh, I, I saw the prototype on TV mm -hmm. and it wonderful. was ingenious. That's wonderful. Uh, you don't think people could get over that? Uh, maybe they could, but uh, it, it delineates the if area. If it's 55 feet tall, then you, get a, you sell 60 foot ladders. This thing, the way it was shaped, you couldn't exactly. put a ladder against it's not it. going to be made phil phil well, how many millions of dollars of maintenance is going to cost millions I, of dollars the company that sells the, mike but the company that sells the power will how many millions maintain. of dollars and and, and, and 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 you know you've got to get the mexicans to want to buy the power and they'll probably say fuck you well, exactly. that's what I would do. That's what I would it's do. It's the perfect place for solar, uh, you know, on the southernmost border. Yeah, but how much do you think it would cost? Do you know how much it costs just to do a roof in solar? Well, you know, they're talking about 300-mile stretches uh, in in uh, in the most popular uh, border crossing areas. 300-mile stretches of solar panels. Right. Wow. They're, uh, well, I don't know if the whole wall is going to have solar on it, but it would make the sense. The whole that wall it isn't going to be there. Well, simplistic this. views, simplistic. That's that's the Republican Party. If there's there's a problem. There's a simplistic answer without thinking about the world around it and the way things are. Everything is a simplistic answer. I don't know that this. Was here, here's a, what you do. Here's uh, what you do, uh, Phil. Republican here's what you idea. do. You don't want Mexicans coming up here to do two things. Number one, you legalize every drug we've got. Okay, you legalize them. Uh, that's that's for starters. Uh, then they have no w reason to come across the border selling drugs. You want to then keep them from coming across to get jobs. You make sure that people who hire m Mexicans hire uh, illegal aliens get a incredible fine that it's just not worth it but they you know, they charge them nothing they just go oh you we got to send the people there you know, they go they go into the restaurant and they go here immigration how many here okay they will send you back and they send them back people who hire illegal aliens undocumented aliens should ha be levied a, a huge fine but they'll never do that uh, yes mike what, why don't these uh Encourage the Mexicans to want to work, especially like on the farms. Remember the old Bercero program? Yeah. When the Mexicans used to come across, pick the fruit, and they worked so Yeah, but long, they were working. They, they were working under terrible conditions. You know, it was a really. True. It was. It, if you want to talk I about agree. exploiting human beings, this was a uh, a, a, a very bu big case of exploiting human beings. You know. The uh, the wineries are saying that they can't get uh, workers uh, to uh, to pick the grapes. Yeah, uh, because of Trump. Because <clears throat> the Republicans to start with their little fingers up their asses, going, "No, we you can't ha have them." Well, so, I, all right I, then. I, that's all, okay. All right. all right. No white, no vegetables. What the hell are you gonna do? You gonna go out there and fill oh, the vegetables? Find find Why? a way, find Why? a way to harvest that people stuff people with uh, machines. Hey, they made a cotton gin. They can find a way to uh, to harvest this stuff. Uh, Robot pickers. Robot by the way, pickers. a viewer, a viewer <laughs> yeah, by the name of uh, John Deppie, 
has said that transmission of the electricity would be very costly. Well, it's not even that. It's not even that. You're going to build, I mean, you're, build, you're building a wall along the Rio Grande River. It better be on their side, not our side, or we don't have access to what the are you damn gonna Rio do? Grande. What are you going to do when you use? What are you going to build, <laughs> what are you going to build across the Rio Grande River? Without, I don't, I don't, or they, in the middle of it. I don't know. I don't think I mean, you need know. anything across the Rio Grande. You know, we that's do, a big, that, sure. Well, that's a is then that's an easy Paso, exit. That's an easy mean, exit in, entrance in the United to the, States. To the Gulf of Mexico is, on the Rio Grande. But John, is that a is that a a, a cross? I think so. Point that was for, for well, yeah. Things. I mean, they you know they have access at, at places like El Paso. Also, but, also, you know. if we ever do, uh, and they'll have to do it before they can build it, if they ever decided to build it, if they ever could build it, they would have to do an environmental impact survey. And what they would find is the number of animals who will be affected by it uh, will be That's extraordinary true. because a lot of them have in that area uh, their, you know, the migration patterns. This is where they go across to go get food. They don't know there's a line there. Animals? And who cares about animals? <laughs> well, we're so human beings. We rule this planet. Yeah, Republicans don't care. Right. We have a right. We have certain rights being the top of the food chain. That's right. Yes. Damn Kill right. Kill the animals. It'll be more room for us. How He's dare I hunt. even? How dare I even bring up such a such a notion? Right. Just wait at the bottom of the wall, and then then you go hunting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you right. get a big accumulation of uh, you know Bambi and other other creatures, and you just shoot them in the head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and if there are no more it. animals, then there'd be no uh, more yes. excuse swipe for all those uh, people who the they have the guns to watch. hunt. Yeah. Uh, Jeff? I, I think you anti-environmental guys. Uh, <laughs> you're going to find a lot of your wives and, and cousins and friends are going to disagree with you. Yeah. They'll be at the bottom of the wall. Philosophical <laughs> yeah. thing about, that they do like having a couple of... Uh, Hey Brian's eat, Brian's Still eating again. World. Brian's eating again during the show, and he didn't bring any to share with us. <laughs> I'd FedEx it to you, but you might not get it until like next year. <laughs> <laughs> not it three years, right, Brian? Not three Alex. Years. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I got hummus. I was drink, I was eating hummus earlier, but I. Figured I'd finish before I got online yeah, here, I, I, so I, I wouldn't. Uh, I think have what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring well, food. Give us any yeah. Yeah. I'm going to bring some food in here next time, so when he starts eating, I can start right. eating. But anyway, 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 what we what were you going to say, Rob, it. about something? <laughs> did, did anybody hear that our or not our but the governor of New Jersey, Mr. Christie, filled in for two days on uh, sports radio, New York Same. WFAN? Oh, oh, he really? filled in on the beach. He filled in. <laughs> And oh, they, he got attacked. You could listen to clips on the on the internet oh, if you okay. want. Some he called some guy because some guy called him from Montclair, New Jersey, and attacked him oh, right yeah. away. And he called him a commie. He said the people in Montclair are commies. The guy <laughs> called him fat. <laughs> oh, it True. was it, it's fat. hysterical. Well, he's sort of that. His, his name is Mike, and I actually there was a whole interview with him in the Daily News today. Uh, his he's one of the regulars, sort of the. Sort of the fill of that show. He shows uh, okay. up. He calls Very a lot. Much. He calls a lot, but it's all sports related. Uh, I'll tell now, you though. The one now yeah. I'll tell you the the spoiler is that his daughter works for De Blasio as as a, as, as as in his in in De Blasio's uh, press department. So Chris okay, Christie has yeah. a daughter. I saw. No, no, I can't no, remember where I saw it. It might have been. It might have been on. It may, might have been on Renee's uh, Facebook page, uh, but there's this picture that somebody's put together, photoshopped. Oh, there's some great of, ones. Of Christie and his beach chair, but people <laughs> in a parade in. holding him down like he's a hot air balloon. <laughs> oh, it's great. I saw that one. Also, the Surratt painting, Sunday in the Park. Yeah, I have him with all the other in the point of list, you know, sitting, sitting there. And, oh, there's some fantastic, fantastic photoshopping of Christie in all those situations. Well, you know, he can't. Well, I love that one with the parade. He yeah. can't run for governor again because. No, that's um, right. Yeah, you know, term limits. He can't run. Right. Get right. He can't, can't run. run. Term limits. Yeah. Yeah. Term limits. But he has term Wonder. limits. And so I think he just doesn't give a shit now. You know. Of so course he doesn't. He's a lame ducker. Who cares? He'll close down a couple of bridges he doesn't even have control over. You know. So. Oh, the other one that was great was the picture of the Yalta conference where Christie is sitting. 
in where I think uh, where Churchill used to be looking over at Roosevelt and Stalin. Oh, really? So, yeah, he'll close. Hey, Alex, he'll close down bridges because uh, the uh, because of the weight limits. Yeah, he'll <laughs> oh. exceed them. Very good, Brian. Very good. We'll give you the but, po- point uh, for tonight. Uh, yeah, term limits the last for the time? governor. Why can't we have the term last time he was there? The legislature either. I mean, that's just ridiculous. We should. Oh, I agree. In spite of what uh, the Amy Manuels and the uh, you know, other people. We'll say. What, what is oh, it? You, what would you, he, you what, vote your own to what, what, no, what, 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 They rig. They they, they, they they stick their fingers in your pocket and they find ways to. Well, you, you know, know, with with with. Uh, you see uh, assist, uh, you cut it off. Uh, you know, I'm I'm very much a lefty, and sometimes I listen to Amy and go crazy because she's just so you know everything's a plot against everything, and you know it's conspiracy. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Everything's a conspiracy. Yeah. Uh, and well, admittedly, plus, her being a died in the wool, uh, her being a diehard Democrat, you know, she'd rather, as Jimmy Dore says on his show on YouTube, uh, the Democrats would rather lose to a Republican than win with a progressive. Oh, that's an interesting term. You know, I hate the term her? progressive. You know, people call well, themselves progressives. You know, what I mean. you know, no, but I hate the term progressive. Yeah, now, now I heard that you, you now, serious now, that, but. because I mean, think about it. I mean, these are people who are too too cowardly to call themselves lefties. Now, you isn't know? Bernie Sanders uh, consider himself an, a progressive? Uh, so, no, yes. he considers himself an independent. He considers himself a socialist, democratic socialist. Now, his wife <coughs> having some issues, uh, uh, legal issues too, uh, isn't she? What? No. Not that yeah, I know of. Yeah, when she was... Uh, there some conflict uh, of interest universe. things. So far, there hasn't... Uh, there yeah, hasn't well, well, but, but that isn't... So, so... so FBI is got, got money for a college or something what, what, like what's that. The yeah. point, what's the point you're trying to prove? It's his Way wife. It's not him. Whatever. Well, you know... It's even, not him. It doesn't matter what party they are. They're all dishonest. They're all corrupt. Yeah. <laughs> They're all lock dishonest. them all up. No, but you're 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 calling here you you're calling him out for something his wife did. Well, allegedly did. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not. Well, you know, my wife can do stuff and allegedly hmm? with the Russians. What? You know? uh, Trump allegedly. You know, if if, it, if Bernie's wife was also being investigated by the FBI uh, for uh, uh, I don't, it wasn't fraud. It was uh, sort I of misrepresentation. With his and I agree. Yeah, and uh, you know, and now you know we see. Yeah, but election. what I'm it's saying is, is that's that's con, Bernie's wife. Now, in the case of now in the case in the case of Donald Trump Jr., we're talking about somebody who is in the current administration, was in the election campaign, was you know uh, there uh, being active and and going out and doing shitty stuff. You know, hey, I mean, in the case of me, uh, Bernie uh, uh, Bernie Sanders, that's his wife, and we know damn well that Donald Trump knew what was going on Bernie because how Sanders, could, if he didn't know? Well, let me tell you this: if you're a little prick, Donald Trump, right, yeah. didn't know Nick what Tanner. was going on. Wait a minute, didn't know what was going on. Then he's really in a fucking coma. Well, yeah, but I tell you something, Bernie Sanders. They said also aided his wife and used his influence to help her get this $10 million loan that was gotten through uh, a fraudulent misrepresentation of, uh, of uh, their Well, uh, then funds. throw him in jail, too. Exactly. Yeah, they should, you know. if, if that's the they case... Should throw- Exactly. Throw him in jail too. I, yeah, you know, I mean, that. you're not you're not talking. You're, 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 number one, you're not ta- you're pastor. not talking to somebody here who's a big Bernie fan. You know, I I thought Bernie's ideas were good. I felt he would make the I've said I said it here would make the worst president uh, you could possibly imagine. He's not presidential material. Kind of like Carter. Yeah, I think he's more presidential than than, than Trump. Trump though. Oh, 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 no oh, question, question about it. Question about it. Oh, oh, Jack, Jack, turn, 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 Jack, 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 you, Jack, you, you, you've got you, some you got f- some slap back slap from back. you and you. you don't have your camera slap, on. Slap, slap, slap back, back, back. You're echoing. Yeah. I feel like I'm in Yankee Stadium in 1965. Jack, are you there? <laughs> I'm right here. Sir. We got rid of that. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, would you would you uh, also turn on your camera? 
I'm now with that, Reggie, Reggie Jackson. Jackson, Jackson. Today, I am the uh, luckiest man in the history of uh, the history world. History of the city, right, right. I'm a face of the earth. Hey, earth, Jack. earth. Yeah. Hello, I Jack. Had call, I had to call and defend my friend Amy Manuel. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Now, as Brian knows, and I know Alex knows this, uh, I'm about as far to the left as you can get without being called commissar. By the you're way, you're so far oh, to the left, Jack. You've come back to the right. You're so, there we go again. You're so, you're so far Jack to the left that your picture is frozen, Jack. Oh, well, let me, well, let me uh, do something about that. Not that you really need to see me. I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, in, in the, I'm a handsome black man by anybody's. Yeah, there we go. And, and now you're frozen but, again. Oh, there, but, there, you're better now. Yeah. Now, look, the, the, the thing to remember about Amy is Amy is a pragmatic politician. Yeah. Okay. You know, and, and, and that's the thing. And uh, uh, like all pragmatic politicians, she wants to heal rifts within her party after, an, uh, you know, after a primary. She wants her party to come together and whip the other guys. Yeah, but but she spends that, half her, half her time. I mean, I'm not. I'm not in the house. Well, like I said to you last night, if you're not willing to play hardball, real hardball, I don't want to hear about it. If you're not ready to get down and dirty, I don't want to hear are about we it. Are, you, are we going to do some bomb throwing? Nancy Pelosi well. won't get down and dirty. Hey, no, Jack, he, here we he, go, part two of your show from last night. Yeah, yeah. No, no, he, no, here, no, here, really, you know, I mean, I agree with Jack in this, in this respect, that I think the only way we're going to get the Republicans to pay attention to Democrats is if they feel threatened. And I feel, I say physically threatened, you know. Uh, yeah, let's go after doing that. You know, I mean, uh, we we we're, we're just too nice. He's absolutely right. We're too nice about everything. You know, yeah, I'll concede as much as uh, you know the whole preaching nonviolence thing. <laughs> yeah, tell that to the Sons of Liberty and the uh, revolutionaries in the seven in the uh, late seventeen hundreds. <laughs> well, I'll put it to you this way: you know, as a young man, I was probably a moderate. When I got a little older, I thought of myself as a as a liberal or a, a progressive, I now think of myself being pretty damn close to a bomb through an anarchist. <laughs> now, uh, and I say all that to say this. Let the motherfucker burn. <laughs> I say all of that to say this. Uh, Malcolm X summed it up. I am peaceful with people who are peaceful towards me. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, I think, a good philosophy. Yeah. He yeah. didn't say burn, baby, burn. No, he didn't. No, he didn't say burn, baby, burn. A, a guy who was a disc jockey in L.A. said burn, baby, burn. Oh. I'll tell you, but who there was somebody, Phil, Phil, there was somebody who said uh, I could shoot somebody in the middle of uh, Fifth Avenue and nobody would uh, bat an eye. Yeah, I mean, there was somebody who said that. Gee, who was that? Oh, who, who was that? No idea. He, he was right. Yeah, unfortunately, he is right. This is my point. Donald J., but would he face somebody a mano a mano? I don't think so. I highly doubt that. No, nah, not his style. No, and that's the, and that's the way the style should be. If yeah, not, yeah, yeah, his style. Yeah, yeah, style. Yeah, uh, he had all those uh, when he was running for president, and he had all those uh, uh, those speeches he was giving. In some of those places, he was really fomenting violence. He was oh, saying, yeah. take that guy yeah, out of here. I punch that guy in the mouth. Yeah, I would have punch that guy in the mouth. Or if anybody does anything to anybody in this room, I'll, I'll get my lawyers to defend you. You're just not a real New Yorker. If you were a real New Yorker, you'd be punching people yeah, in well, the mouth you know, and giving yeah, them this is, this is real presidential. Well, why don't you get rid of that stupid president, that dictator? Well, I think he's... Well, who uh, that? Think... Obama? No, Trump. But if, why don't you just put uh, Trump and a little Castro out you know, here be, be a, 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 You should be a little... He should be it, perfect. Phil, you should be uh, a little uh, nicer. Hail the uh, hail the you're always, I'm nice minute, you're always going to Obama, going after Obama, and the fact is the guy was, wasn't was uh, a bad president. He was maybe a little ineffectual, but, you I know, it, 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 he, isn't, wasn't, he respected the office he had. 
Well, I didn't like the way he treated the office because he was anti-Israel. He was pro-Iran. Uh, he gave them uh, more what money you, what than makes they you, know what, what makes you think he was pro-Iran or anti-Israel? What about Trump? He had Trump no respect for any money Trump, to find wait, wait. Trump did not have no respect for nobody. He uh, has no respect for nobody or his office. So well, fuck because, him because and fuck the Republican just, Party. You're, you're just you're just spewing out the party line. You know, uh, oh, he, I'm not. I'm not. Well, what I'm do you think you're doing, Phil? Line. What What do you yeah, think you're doing, you women? Think you're doing? What do you think you're doing when you're defending <laughs> Obama? Wait a minute. When you're defending Trump, what do you think you're doing? That's the party line. Accusing the opposition of what you yeah, yourself. Because I'm here. happy with the way he's performing. Good. Now let's fight about it, like God. Get rid of this bitch. Like God intended, because that's the American way. That's Why right. don't you impeach the son of a bitch right now? I'll see you on Fifth Avenue <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> you can't get on Fifth Avenue in the middle because it's got all kinds of barriers and stuff that you know that makes travel yeah. down that road rather difficult around that oh, part of town. God. Now, they, now that's also because De Blasio didn't he take away the horse, the, uh, the handsome cabs on Fifth Avenue? It happens, that has nothing to do with it. I'm talking about the you, fact you got that fucking Trump Tower that we're spending two hundred thousand dollars a day to protect. You would have gotten through if you had handsome cabs. They let it burn. We'll surround it. We'll surround the Trump Tower with uh, with horse carts. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 Let, no, exactly. let the horse. Let the you know, horse. You know who I feel. You know who I hold on a second. You know who I feel sorry for. Is anybody who rented an apartment in that building? Oh. Because their <laughs> life is a living. Oh, I wouldn't. Fucking... They're very, very rich people. <laughs> you no, know, but Did they don't they buy those apartments? I, I think they may have. Oh, they're, they're expensive they, as hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. but you know, I feel sorry for people who are trying to run businesses in those. In those oh, uh, oh, the businesses. The Trump own most of those businesses. No, does he own Tiffany's? No, and it's on the corner. He own. Uh, he owned no. the Gucci store. No. 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 Or is it the Nike Coach, store? Coach he no, he doesn't no. own the Nike store. The, 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 all I know is that business in that Coach area has been totally impacted. Tiffany's is saying business is terrible because they can't, you know, nobody wants to get near there. Nobody I wants mean, to go to that neighborhood to anymore. You know, how many Elsa Peretti pens and hearts can you buy until you get tired of going to that place? It's you not know? that I even want to go there, but I'm saying that it's impacting the businesses, and he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, imagine if you're the, the party of business. It should bother the shit out of Trump's you, Phil. Turn if your carpet store yeah. were there on Fifth Avenue, how would you feel? You know what I, I would do? I'd be I would. I would the, pull. Uh, I would pull every cop out of that area. They can't protecting. Do that. Wait a minute, protecting Trump the hell Tower, they can't. and tell Trump and his people, you pay for it. You're on your own. You're on your own. If if somebody re re blows this thing up to the ground. Uh, so be it. If y you pay the charge, we're not. I'm. I, you know. I, it's my tax money for crying out loud. That's protecting that fucking building at two hundred thousand dollars a day. And it's Bill, your president. Don't you want him protected? No, I don't. No, he's not, he's not no I don't. He's a dictator. He's not, not more than a fucking dictator. I, hey, Phil. I, I, that's protect. all he is. That building is heavily insured, and we know how much you believe in the private insurance industry. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, if somebody levels it, of course, there's no nothing to make us believe that anybody would or could. Uh, it's, it, we haven't had any real violence uh, in, uh, it, it, you know, any of that kind of violence uh, since, uh, well, since 9-11. Can we think of any? Alex Bennett uh, calls for violence on Fifth Avenue. No, no, no. I'm saying there hasn't been. Uh, you know, when, when he's so afraid of the rest of the world, we've got to keep these Muslims out because this is going to cause problems. I don't, I Wait a minute, let me. Can you? Can I finish a whole statement without you jumping in? All right. Uh, I did a job last night. Huh? I, I was pretty good about not jumping in last you were, night. You were very good last night. I'll have to give you that. Yeah. But the I'll, night, I'll, I'll but the last now. time, uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Don't the fact is, the fact is that if you if you look at the history of, of him being afraid of our country being in jeopardy, I mean we're we're the laughing stock of the world because they're going well exactly when did ISIS attack America, you know? So anyway, here's uh, there's a word for that xenophobia. Yeah, xenophobia Ando, is exactly right. Uh, 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 San Bernardino, yeah. that you know that's when they attacked. 
No, that, those, Dr. But George those, Taylor those, Phil. those were domestic people who were were yeah. were here in America. They were they were citizens. Remember yeah. that. Radicalized. Okay. Well, they well, would have, they would have been even if you even if you had prevented Texas. people from coming into this country at that time, they'd be here because they were citizens. Yeah. Who but, radicalizes uh, you guys on the right? By the way, Tim has just called. Hello, Tim. Tim, are you there? It's been a while since we heard from you. Tim, are you there? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, have you been hearing what's been going on here? Yeah, I actually had a question for Jack. Yeah. Please. About the uh, the Russian lawyer that met with John Jr., the lady. Yeah. Uh, have you heard, Do you know the story? Uh, it's Jerry Nadler, a congressman, has sent from the Judicial Committee a letter to the Department of Justice because... There was a money money laundering case before the Department of Justice. She was one of the lawyers. It was two hundred thirty million dollars originally. Uh, it was handled by Preet Bharara, which is your U.S. attorney that left. Mm-hmm. That got fired. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I posted on Facebook a couple of the links to the story and the letter. But basically, uh, after Preet Bharara left, they settled for six million dollars. A two hundred thirty million dollar case, money laundering case, where that late lady was uh, was involved as part of the uh, you know defending the Russians that were money laundering. So uh, this whole group of the Agalarovs and everybody, Trump knows all these people, so he knew what was going on, and they're just lying. She's very high up in the order as far as you know being close to Putin, and uh, so now we have another obstruction. Where that's why Trump changed his mind and got rid of Pete Barrara, and they're asking for documents to say why did you settle for six million dollars? That's nothing, a money laundering case. So this Don Jr. is, as I think, fried everybody's brain here. So I don't know. Yeah, you're seeing lots of cracks in the uh, in the Congress and in the Republican Congress. More and more cracks. People are backing away from them. Who is that Chuck sure. comedian that uh, that supposedly set the meeting up? Uh, uh, Jewish name Goldstein. Gold, Goldstone. Gold, Goldstone. Uh, yeah, uh, he's 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 a he's a, he's a character. Uh, he's a character, you know. but it was set up through the Agalarovs, who had partnered with Trump to build a Trump Tower in Moscow. Hmm. And Washington Post, one of the other newspapers, reported they were very far along until the Magnitsky okay. and other sanctions came uh, yeah, along. Yeah, Tim. And Putin stopped it because their economy was bitten hurt by the sanctions. So this, the whole deal of the Magnitsky and the other sanctions and getting rid of them is to Trump's benefit also, because if he can get rid of the sanctions, which he's okay, going okay. to get rid of the Tim, 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 with all, I mean, you're, you're making my head explode with this stuff. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, but my question to you is, so what's the end of all of this? What is what 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 is our aim to impeach Trump? Well, they've already started the impeachment. Oh, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. But wait a minute, wait a minute. So you impeach him? Who's president? Well, they need. Well, that's why they got to go after Pence too, because Pence. Oh, okay. Is aware well, okay. Of all then, stuff, then so. if Pence, let's say you get Pence too, then who do you have? Uh, 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 I wouldn't, uh, that, we're going to have to cross that bridge. No, 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 no. You're better off. You're better off with Trump because he's stupid and you can play him. What you need he's to do? Senile. You, you know, it's, I would live with Trump because you, you know. Uh, well, listen, somebody like uh, Mika Brzezinski knows how to get his goat very easily. You know, and we can keep him jumping around with his tweets and everything, and we can keep him just just flying in the wind. Pence. Ah, uh, you're a little closer to a Nazi there. You know, you're a little well, closer to... Anything to get his agenda, you're a, and he can keep his mouth shut, unlike the Trump family. So. You know, so so don't, you know, I, 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 what I believe that Trump has built in front of him is a firewall against impeachment. Yes, Jack. What needs to happen is any impeachment of Trump needs to be dragged out until October of 2020. That's true. Dragged out right up to the day we go to the polls. Why? He's not running again. Yeah, you, you're assuming he's going to be alive by then. Have you seen him lately? He looks like a fat pig waiting to be to be just die from a, a, an exploding heart. 
Well, as no, long as it, but yeah, he looks like a good year blimp, ready to float. Yeah, yeah. he's actually you know, had to work you know, for but, the first day in his life. <laughs> you know, but look at the good governor of New Jersey. He, you know, you know, the good year blimp uh, on steroids. You know, and and, he and, and I want you to know something. Points. He's lost <clears throat> weight. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's put some of it back on. That has if you look at if you look at the like if you look at the pictures back around the time of the uh, of the debates last year, he's definitely gotten a little bit fuller since then. Well, he's listen, he's, he, uh, he's 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 a guy who can wait a minute. He, he's a guy who could get fat doing coke, or as my friend Bubble Larry Bubbles Brown used to say, "What's he cutting his coke with? Butter." <laughs> he's going to have a talk radio show in New York City, isn't he? He already That's has. Yeah. Uh, he tried he that. Full time. It's not going to happen. He's not going to get a full time talk radio program. Yeah, that's his plan. I, I thought, thought they he offered lost him. the weight from his ass and went to his face. Oh. I, I thought the, the, that was in the bag. No, this was no. just a, just a, you know, hey, come on in for grins and do a show. No, the guy that's in the bag is Trump. Yeah. In the bag to the Russians. Yeah. He's a bag man. So, I mean, I, you know, I think any notion of, of Trump, number one, that he can be impeached and that, uh, you know, uh, we, we can do it with any efficiency is what ridiculous. And then if we did, look who we got, you know, and if well, we get him, look who we got. And we get rid of him, look who we got. You know, the line is a, they, it's a firewall. If they try to impeach him, his cabinet's not going to go for it. Uh, so you his know, there, cabinet no has thing. nothing to do with impeachment, the Phil. The has no uh, well, problem. yeah, well, you're it, talking it's, about the Twenty Fifth Amendment, Phil. Yeah, yeah, the Senate uh, isn't going to go for it. Uh, well, well now, maybe now they will. You, actually, well, you never know, man. If they keep, if they keep making, if if he keeps more and more of this stuff comes out, they're going to have. Uh, to let me let me let me show you yeah. where he's going to start losing Republicans. Okay. Is when they go already. back home and they start doing these town halls and people are saying, hey, I'm a good Republican, he's a good Republican, we're talking to you, our Republican congressman or senator, what are you doing about Trump? Do you believe in this? Do you believe in that? How about the fact that you're trying to rip away health care from us? I mean, they're going back to these town halls. They're not even holding them because they don't want to be embarrassed now, by are, them. Isn't, uh, aren't they talking about not going on recess uh, this year to work on health care? Well, no, not, no, so they don't have to go back and talk to so their they constituents. To yes. They should not be allowed any recess. They were on recess for eight years under Obama. Yeah. about GOP. Yeah, exactly. Right. Hi, Scott. You're sitting there quietly. Anything to say about any of this? Not a word. <laughs> Not a word. But he's Save there. He's the there. He's there showing us his hair. We, uh, uh, and by Jack the way, everybody to tonight except for Phil, I, and uh, and Jack have a full head of hair. Yeah. No, I do. Oh, yeah, I said except yeah, for, for Jack the, and, and Phil else. and I. Everybody is like hair suit. Yeah, we're follically impaired. We're follically impaired. Yeah. We'll get it too faded, Phil. Uh, well, I've, got this, I've got this big bald spot in back that uh, is. Uh, do you have hair in the front? Do you have hair in the front? Air. Oh, okay. You well, have full? Yeah. You have hair in the front then. I have hair in the front. Oh well, then fuck you. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> what? That should be your uh, answer. You. Uh, Come on, look at that. See what I do? I get a, I get a cut at my uh, at my little. I go to a black barber place, you know, where they're all sitting around like in the, the right uh, in an Ice Cube movie, mm -hmm. you know. But does the, but is there a guy sitting in the uh, in in a chair that never cuts hair and is always eating? No, uh, the no, no. That, you know, uh, you're you're a real black. The well, the, there was one hey, place Jack. that was more Good like question. the barber shop out of barber shop right up the street, and I went there, but. I felt so out of place being white that I went to this other place where everybody's black, but it's just I somehow I don't they don't seem to be bothered by the presence of a white guy into this uh, social we're, we're not club. Bothered. So uh, is the Luke Cage so barber shop used to having to deal Luke with you? Barber shop. The Luke Cage barber shop is right down the street here. It's not doesn't have any no. signage on it, and they've said I think it says on the outside finally for rent. So I don't think they're going to be using it anymore in the series. Yes, uh, Brian. Somebody want to put a yeah, barbecue? Jack, I have a, I have something to say. Uh, not a question, more like a statement. Uh, 
next time Alex says fuck you to fuck you to you, you should say in, in response. Well, no, because your head's too your bald head is too big to fit up my ass. Oh, hey, listen, do what you did last night. The 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 the, uh, the uh, uh, YouTube clip that you told us about. Do that again. That's one of the funniest damn things. What are we repeating I've, your I've, show you know on I'll my show? Better. I'll try to play it through my phone. You can hear it from the guy. No, no, just do it. You know, don't don't do it that way because it's not going to be good quality. Just just repeat. Wait a minute, Jack. It's my show. Well, I, I want to hip you to something. Well, I don't want a repeat of your show from last night. This is this is good shit, man. This is as good as shit as Jack. that time that you it's gave. It's it's but they can listen to you. Or they can listen Jack to your show retreads. last night on demand because it turns out it wasn't up today because I had a problem last night uh, putting it up. But it's up right now, and they can listen to the intersection from I'll last ask night. Again, did anybody and, ever hear of a comedian called John Balby? No. Dr. Dirty? N- no, I, I remember there was an you uncle. There was, look him up. There, there, was an uncle di- there was an Uncle Dirty. Bob Altman, I think, was his He's name. been doing them, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, it's a parody of the song Itsy Bitsy by Brian Hyland and uh, Polka Dot. Yeah, the yellow, po- yeah yellow Polka Dot. Only his version is uh, he was afraid to come out of the water. He had been there a little too long. He was afraid to come out of the water. Because all the girls would all laugh at his dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it a was bitsy, a itsy bitsy. Weenie, yeah, right. <laughs> teeny it weenie itsy yellow. Bit, teensy yeah, weenie, sure. little shriveled up old weenie that hadn't grown since his second birthday. He'd yank it, stretch it, crank it, tug it. His sack looked like a dried McNugget. <laughs> and in the water, he wanted to stay. And then it gets better. He was afraid to go into the cell block. Though he had on steel-lined underwear, he was afraid to go into the cell block because all the bros were lined up waiting there. They all had asshole ripping, cell bar gripping, cocks you barely get the tip in, and with his bunghole, they wanted to play. It was a rectum reaming, honky screaming, swallowing tons of darky semen, and in the cell block, he now loved to stay. Wow. I think we could have used that back in the midnight blue days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Along you with our would, friend who did dirty is the funniest word I know. Right? Thank you very and, much, Jack, for and, bringing and that up. What? Call, and in New Jersey, called Murray Hill 25,000. <laughs> you're, you're the one, Jack, who said you never wanted to say dirty words on your show. And last night he's doing this and you haven't come on and do it on my show tonight, too. Well, I, I kind of dropped the Democrat. That. You dropped. I, I kind of dropped the thing about don't say. You know, uh, I realized that you can't do what we do in this arena. Yeah. Without a few motherfuckers. Well, you said you said what I said when I first went to Sirius XM. Uh, I said I'm going to do a show, but I'm not going to. I know I can use any language I want to, but I'm not going to. And within at least five months, I was saying cocksucker, motherfucker, you know, whatever. <laughs> It, All it, seven it, dirty it, words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said the hell with it. You know why? I, 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 I don't have to watch my language here. Well, I can speak well, the it, language everybody else does. It, it, it. Uh, well, put it this way. I, I was really good about that until one night I realized Renee curses more than any dock worker I have ever known. Yeah, it's like a drunken yeah. sailor. Yeah. yeah. Jack was was I uh, a little pissed off last night? I didn't think so. No more than but, uh, I, I thought you were the epitome of, of refinement and decorum. Mike, you know who you remind me of? I was thinking about this today. You kind of remind me of uh, Jerry Stiller, the oh, father yeah. of the Stanza from Seinfeld. Yeah. You kind of you yeah. sound like him. You kind of look like him. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I think he looks more like, who was the guy that was the uh, uh, movie critic? Oh what yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the, the two guys. Yeah, one guy that died. No. Gene. Uh, Gene Siskel. No, he doesn't yeah, look. Like, he doesn't look like Roger, Roger Ebert. Ebert. No. Gene Siskel. Gene Siskel. No, no, Gene Siskel. He would look nothing like Gene Siskel. He'd be closer to Roger Ebert, but Roger Ebert. Right. Didn't. All right, that's what. I, I, Roger yeah, Ebert didn't look yeah, like that. Yeah. Anyway, hey Tim, you still there? Tim? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Because we can't see you. We never see you. For all we know, you're a t- 
We know if for all I we know because I have fans running. So uh, for all we know, you're a troll. Um, so I guess we're in trouble, Alex, because uh, uh, Pence's uh, people has reached out to Robert Hartman. He wrote the long national nightmare speech for uh, Ford when he took over from uh, Nixon. Oh. So. Oh, at last our long emotions. national nightmare is over? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to pardon Nixon and all that stuff. So why did he Hart, hire him? Robert Hartman wrote that long speech. Well, why has he hired long, him? Why has he hired him? Well, it's just a joke, but they're saying oh. he's probably reaching out to him. Yeah. Uh, uh, to have uh, that speech ready. Yeah, to have that moment. speech ready. Yes, uh, Mike has his hand up. Okay. Did you hear what uh, Trump was trying to do now for his quote when he gets out of the president? He says when Kennedy retires, if he retires, he will put another uh, justice, another judge in there to replace him. Yeah. Uh, here we go again. Trump meddling in where he's not supposed to go. Yeah, he can meddle, but he wants to have a full deck, you know, to protect his little, little sweet ass. Well, he's just going to get impeached, and I hope to God he does. Dream on. Uh, why did you say, oh, Phil? Shit. Watch it, 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 Phil. I'll bet you anything. I'll bet you a, a, a butt. That son of a bitch won't get impeached within a, within two years. You can watch. The impeachment will go on, and that son of a bitch will be impeached. No, I think uh, Phil, 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 economy. Phil, what, you just had time to send me a note saying that the 24-7 button doesn't show up on your... Yeah, I, I said just check it out. I checked it out. It's show. working on mine. It is? Yes. Yeah. So there's something no, wrong. I'm with, not getting it. Well, I don't know why. I just uh, uh, did a whole uh, refresh and all of that, and it's uh, it's just fine. So, no, I'll refresh it again. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's just fine. Thank you. Yeah, evil uh, magic, Buana. Evil magic. Yeah, evil <laughs> magic. And don't... <laughs> mine yeah. goes away. What? And, and mine goes away, and it did it on both the desktop and the, and the iPad. Well, I didn't want to say anything during the, the show. I, I, I have get, no problem. Anybody else here have a problem with our website? Seeing yeah, the look, look, look at the live feed. Everybody, no, Jeff doesn't have a problem. Uh, how, about you, how about you, Scott? Do you have a problem? With what? With, uh, with our GabNet site seeing the 24-7 feed button? I did earlier. Oh well, I'm, uh, I don't. I didn't notice, but it's ghosted out. No. Yeah, it was earlier tonight for me, and then I refreshed it, and it came back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I talked to you today. Said he had a problem with it. Yeah. I was going to email you about it, but looks like it's there. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. now. It is now. It ghosted out on mine. I just tried it now, and it went. You know, it's it was it, there. It, it and a second yeah. later, it went white. Hmm. Yeah, well, so I'm I'm going to reboot my iPad and see. If I have that no doesn't... idea why because I'm getting it here just fine, you know. Yeah. So I had a tough time First. downloading your latest show though. Oh yeah, yeah. I, well because I didn't have it upright, so you okay. Know. Uh, well, the reason you get it, Alex, is you're at the mothership. Well, no, and... I mean here I, I, I just brought, I just brought, I just brought up a Gabnet again in another tab, and uh, it's just fine. You know, 27 right. feet. So I, you know, I don't know what uh, what your problem is, but uh, is it how, how you you got it, Jeff? Okay, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah. Anybody? Yeah, it's not ghosted out, huh? Uh, other people said it was ghosted out earlier. So, yeah, but yep. you, but it's not ghosted out now, right? Uh, okay, I just Rob? turned it on. Hold on, I didn't off. ask you. I was asking Rob. Oh. Yeah, no. When I first uh, loaded the page tonight to, yeah. to turn on the program a little after 10. I was like, where the hell? I saw the word 24 by 7 feed, and the the button, the whole thing, the whole square was. Yeah. It yeah. said, yeah, and you could actually scroll around in there. It was weird. I could yeah. read text that yeah, was Yeah, but in now there. it's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine now. Yeah, and well, I think it may, may have had something to do times. maybe with our, uh, uh, with the people who are, are, are doing it, uh, uh, our newest, uh, yeah, because I think, you know, that's a, that's a feed coming from somewhere uh right. and uh so who knows but the problem Same is problem. but, but uh, well, the only way i was able to listen earlier okay was well the fact is nobody else has the problem now uh, well, except you I, I, what's your listenership like right now except oh god well i mean if the listenership is down uh you know the li li listenership uh is uh is not down at all in fact it's up oh okay yeah. <clears throat> 
Uh, yeah, I, I see the thing that says twenty four seven, but nothing. You know, the, no uh, button. No, I have no idea you what know, your what your problem is. Oh, I and, just I just saw something. I can scroll where that was, and I see something that looks like a promotional thing that they were doing today on a lot of things like Facebook and others about net neutrality. It says this site blocked by whatever. Well, not ISP. really, but it could be if you if if net neutrality is dead. So it looks yeah. like it, it skipped over. You know the page instead of where the where the actual hmm. slide thing is there, it That's looks like it goes to one of their pages that some of these guys like Facebook and others oh. were doing to protest the possibility of uh, Trump uh, killing net neutrality. I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing it says this site and it's in yeah. red. That's, yeah. that's what I saw. That's what I saw. Uh, and, yeah, but that's what I'm I don't know why it's your really thing, but you know. like your ISP. So somebody is full is fucking around with our stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe you were the main site people because it's been, there was a whole series of all these guys like Facebook and other ones. They said we're not actually going to slow down the system. Go, but you may find that you'll get pages that come up yeah, that but, look but, like but, we're slowing all down. I'm saying is I keep you know I, this I, could happen. I keep if, re rebooting you know. and I keep getting it. So it might be in your area that somebody's doing that. You know, yeah, it could be. It could be. Anyway, hey, listen. Oh, you know, something? I'll be gone. You know something? Tell send a letter, to Jack. Us. You better get going here. That's what I was about to say. See you guys in just a few. Yeah. For the section. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, let's say goodbye to Jack, everybody. Hello, goodbye, goodbye, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. I'll pop in. I'll pop in. I got some stuff to talk about. And uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Phil. And thank you to Scott. And thank you to Jeff. And thank you to John. And thank you to uh, 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 boy, who else? Uh, other people as well. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I've got to turn off some audio here. Uh, there we watching go. John, watching yeah. John Oliver and Colbert here, but with the sound off, so it makes yeah. no sense. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thanks to Tim. Thanks to Brian. Thanks to Rob. Thanks to Mike. Uh, I think I got everybody, didn't I? Okay, everybody, wave goodbye so they can all goodbye. see you go bye. away. Okay, bye bye, and thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. That's our that's our citizens panel for this evening. Yes, uh, we are uh, we're going to have another citizens panel again tomorrow night, and I hope you don't have any problem getting our 24/7 feed. I have no idea what that whole thing is about, but. Uh, it's playing okay here in New York. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. We'll be here again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, you see her. Be sure to tell her. I love her.